quite some time ago I was living for a year in England and the local politician called me a colonial from Australia. This made me bristle quite a bit. What on earth is going on on here? I didn't like it, so I got to thinking why I, I didn't like it and why the politician thought of me as, as a colonial. And it boiled down to the fact that at that time, and hopefully ideas have changed, that Australians were still subjects of, of a monarchy. And I thought, well, really? <laughs> Should I be a subject to someone who is not Australian and doesn't doesn't live here at all? So it got me thinking about the fact, well, we manage our own affairs, we're quite free and independent, we have our own constitution, our own government, our own laws, but they're still signed off by someone who isn't Australian. So it's kind of like... We've done all this separation, but we've never signed the divorce papers.